question from Plain Rock 124. Ah, yes. Um, how do I add music to my live stream? Oh, what a good question. We're getting all kinds of good ones today. Good question. Let me, uh, let me pop over into... Man, I'm getting all verhoodled. All right, so we're going to pop over here into my tutorial screen here. All right, so I've got this going on here. I just moved that. I didn't need to do that. You know what's beautiful about OBS, though? Now we can undo. So there we go. So I'm in here. I want to add music to this one. Well, I just click this plus button, and I go to Media Source. And let's just call this one Music. Boom. And I can just browse and find a song that I want to play. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Any song will do. I think I might have some music here. I don't know. I have, that's my live soundboard. That's not really what we're looking for. Um, man, where did I have? Oh, that's because I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. Uh, current live streaming assets. Do I have some music in here? Here I do. There we go. So now, I, now I'm playing it. I can loop the music if I want to. Um, but there we go. So now we have uh, music playing right here. Um, but let's say we wanted music that was like from, from another source. Maybe we didn't want to just play one song or whatever. Um, because you can really just play music through your desktop in your audio player and just grab that. If you wanted to do that, you click the plus, you go to audio output capture, you capture where your music is playing. Um, so if my music is playing through my headphones, because I'm listening to it, I just capture the headphones and that would capture all that music audio in my headphones. So that would be fine too. That works just, that works perfectly fine. Um, let's see. If I wanted to, let's say that I wanted to capture music from something like uh, Spotify. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, I can just capture the Spotify music. Let's see. So I've got my Spotify here. I can, I can just capture, I can just click play and have it playing through my speakers or through my headphones. And then I can capture it the way that I just showed you, capturing the desktop audio. Um, obviously, if you're playing it through your speakers, it's going to feed back in through your microphone, and that's not going to work. But uh, I could capture the audio that way if I'm using headphones or something like that. But there actually is a new tool that you can use. And let me just, uh, I don't know, this might play through my actual speakers, and that would be bad. It is. It's playing through my speakers. Um, so there's not much I can do about that except for turn it way down for now. But I want to give you an example of how to do this. There is a new uh, plugin that you can use for OBS. I can go up to Application Audio Capture. Uh, I can call this one Spotify. And I can basically clip, I can capture a specific window. So I want to capture my Spotify right there. And boom, I can click OK. So now we've got our Spotify in there. And if I click play, uh, since it's down, you can't hear it. But see, when I adjust it up, it, it adjusts up. And we can hear, uh, we can hear anything that's playing in Spotify, which right now, you guys, there you see it. So that's another way. If you want to know more about the plugin that I'm using to do this, uh, Michael will drop a link in the description. Michael, that is obviously that music plugin one, the last music one that I did or the, uh, the how to separate your audio. That is the video that you're looking for to put into the uh, thing. So it is, <coughs> excuse me, it's probably the best plugin that I've ever seen in OBS. It allows you to separate out your audio. So you could put your game audio in one, you could put your music audio in another, you could put your Discord audio in another, you could separate them out, you can adjust the levels, you can do all that stuff. It is the most friggin' epic audio plugin I've ever seen. And what makes it different is before to capture all those things, you could only do it in one way. And that's capturing your desktop audio. Now you can separate them out. And Tech Examine is gonna drop that link right there in the description. There you go, how to separate out your audio. 
that's the video you're looking for. It'll really get your audio configured up and working epically. If you wanna see the full video I refer to in this clip, there is a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And if you wanna catch our live streams or see any of the hundreds of different videos I have over there to help make you a better live streamer, go ahead and check this channel out. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.